chefs, please meet the magician of the century, Mr. David Copperfield. No way. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas. That's awesome. Magic fascinates me. I do a couple tricks myself. I am stoked. Hello, chefs. Hello. Uh, you know, magic to me is not about uh, tricking people or fooling them. It's about inspiring them. I do with magic what you do with cuisine. We want you to take inspiration from David's illusions and create a magical dish for us. Whether it's a culinary sleight of hand or an illusion, we want to be surprised. This is gonna be tough for me. I'm not really looking forward to giving them a show. It's not what I do. I don't have a showy kitchen. So the fact that what's standing between me and a spot in the finale is an element of illusion is pretty frustrating. Tomorrow, you'll have two hours in a fully stocked pantry. You'll serve your dishes table side to us on the stage where David performs every night at the David Copperfield Theater. Jeremy, tomorrow you can take the day off. Sounds good. <laughs> to see my show, you need some tickets. Ta-da! <laughs> cool. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck. Thank yeah. you. One more time, huh? Our challenge is to create a dish with an element of surprise. This dish needs to be magical. This is it, guys. The show last night was awesome. I've like never really been to a Vegas show before. I was really inspired by David and his ability to tell a story through magic. So I want to tell a story of where I started as a cook and where I am today. I'm trying to do kind of a little bit of a play on duck a la orange. When I was 19 and in culinary school, I went on a trip to France where I had duck a la orange for the first time. I'm gonna show them how you take an ordinary plate of food and you elevate it to something extraordinary. It's a nice hunk of meat you have there, Isaac. Thank you, what about the steak? <laughs> I'm going to uh, adhere Cornish game hen skin to this ribeye, the food glue. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna call it chicken fried steak, get it? <laughs> I'm taking a pretty big gamble with this dish. Normally a chicken fried steak, it's a piece of pounded out meat and it's breaded. This is crispy chicken skin attached to a dried ribeye. Da, 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 da. That's my element of surprise. I want my food to stand out and then my showmanship to bring it home, but the food's a lot more important to me right now. That's definitely awesome. I like it. Oh, well, let's wait and see if I can actually pull it off. I hear ya. Any one of these. I want to showcase different cooking techniques to give the judges surprises. Five grams. So I'm making a roasted squab. I'm going to do a whipped meringue, but it's going to be savory with a cauliflower white chocolate ganache. I want to make a nice flavorful mole sauce. And I want to drop it in liquid nitrogen and kind of make like little tiny pebbles. So the illusion is like whipped cream, but it's not. It's like onion rings, but it's not. Another fun thing that I want to do is make a potato ring. I feel like all these little elements of surprises that I'm adding to the dish is what's going to make me a winner and take me to that finale. We're in Vegas. You got to take risks. You got to be in it to win it, so it. Either way you look at it, this is pretty much our last chance competing against each other. Ooh. For my magic trick, I'm gonna take the very plain looking food and through the use of liquid nitrogen, turn it into something magical. I've never really used liquid nitrogen before. Of course I'm petrified. I guess that's freeze dried orange, right? No, maybe? I don't know. Oh. The liquid nitrogen literally burns my tongue. This is the last challenge in the Top Chef finals before the finale, and I can't taste my food. <sighs> okay. Today I made a roasted duck breast with duck a la orange sauce, braised endive, and orange cells. Mm. Wow. I thought a lot about the magic I saw last night, and what was so amazing was watching David just interact with everyone. You did great yesterday, by the way, okay. and great Thank today. It's a very beautifully presented plate. I've never played it on a mirror before. I just think it's so weird. <laughs> the knives, they're wonderful. Thank you very much. I think the fig, the romanesco, the puree, the duck, the endive, they all go together so beautifully. Puree is all seasoned nicely. I want more orange out of this dish. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not getting the orange payoff. Yeah. I know that this is out of your comfort zone, and you didn't stop talking to us and engaging us the whole time, which is a very difficult thing to do when you're concentrating. That was part of the magic, too, for sure. Thank you, Marjorie. Thank you so much. 
So we have kind of a quadruple fennel puree, a chicken fried steak, crispy Cornish game hen, over a dry ribeye, and a yuzu hollandaise. Mm. I think that tastes fantastic. It's a nice trick of putting the skin on the steak, but that wasn't the star of your plate. All these beautiful flavors, to me, are what make your plate shine. I found the fennel puree to be not smooth enough. It's a bit grainy. Yeah, it's very grainy. Okay. But flavor-wise, it's really great. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very Thanks. Much. So, uh, one, two, three. Up and up. It's on smoke. It's beautifully plated. So I'm gonna finish it up with a little dollop of whipped balsamic. The same texture of the sweet whipped cream. We have a uh, roasted squab, white chocolate, cauliflower, and truffle ganache. The sweet technique uh, for ganache. Then you have an onion ring. Um, it's not an onion ring. It's a potato ring encrusted with onion flavors. Huh. The frozen nitro pebbles is a squab sauce infused like with molly flavors. Ooh, the spice comes sort of at the end. Flavor-wise, I think this is really interesting. I mean, it's in, in a good way. There's, there's a lot going on, but it, it all makes sense. I think you were nervous, and had you I, to I do this nervous. again, maybe you would have had more confidence because this is a beautiful plate. There was just so much to explore. It was like a show. There was a reveal to it. I love the smoke inside. There was a lot of technique, but everything really delivered in terms of flavor, too. Thank you. Thank you. We asked you to create a dish with an element of surprise. Everything was really delicious. What I love the most is how you all infused a little bit of your own personal story into it. Last night's show was very inspiring. I just loved the story element, and I really used that as my focus. I like the story. You made it personal. The duck was nicely cooked. The endive was, was fabulous. There could have been ways to get more orange flavor in there. I burnt my tongue on the liquid nitrogen. I felt like I couldn't properly taste things. You can probably count on, your, on, on one hand how many times you use liquid nitrogen. I, I can as well, but it was, I thought, a terrific dish. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amar. Unlike Marjorie, you gave us very little showmanship. I don't want you to see until like you open and you're like surprised at what you're getting. Right. You gave us a dish that when we did actually see it all come together, actually really surprised me. Thank you. You opened up the plate and you got the smoke and it looked like a terrarium, but it all made sense and it all worked. And that is a pretty good trick. Thank you. Isaac, the food you gave us today, I felt was really different. Well, none of that, he actually tried a magic trick, which just <laughs> took like an enormous huevos. Yes. <laughs> hey! Hollandaise sauce with yuzu, I thought it was really good. Why you not put more skin of the chicken in the fillet? That's all the, the skin I had. I draped it over some, I realized it would shrink up, and I was uh, genuinely unsure. I hadn't done this in eight years, and I did it once. I wish I could have gotten it crispier. That's what I was trying to do last minute, ran out of time. You took quite a big risk. Yeah, but that's what this is about. This was about taking the risk. Each of you are really, really talented in, in, in your own right. Very much like coming to David's show last night, we want you to find inspiration throughout the entire journey, starting in California, ending up here. You have to dig deep within yourself. And you all delivered, but there was one dish that stood out. Padma? One of you will be moving on to join Jeremy in the finale. And that chef. is Amar. Marjorie and Isaac, please pack your nose and go. Good job. Good job, Mother. Happy for you. Congratulations.